you know at many times when children grow up they feel like they are earning their parents are eating the house is theirs the food is theirs and they are doing everything for their parents no 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 in fact whatever you earn is through the blessings of your parents whatever you get is through the blessings of your parents in fact if the parents wouldn't be there you wouldn't be there so obviously whatever we get whatever we attain is through the duas and through the blessings of our parents and when we serve our parents we will see miracles happening in our life we will see our life changing into a positive direction but on the other hand if we become proud of ourselves in such a way i'm feeding my parents a'udhu billah i am doing everything for them what are they doing that person will get destroyed not only the akhirah but his world will also be destroyed he will see the punishment in the world itself it is very hard to mark such a person or note such a person or witness such a person who is successful even after being disobedient to the parents no very very hard to find such an example but we will find such examples who may apparently not have enough money with them who may apparently be living in a small house but their lives are happy they're happy with their life they're content they have that peace of heart they have the peace of mind because they're obedient to their parents let's be obedient to the parents because once we lose them we will realize that what ni'mat what blessing of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is in the form of parents you know those people who have lost their parents those people who do not have their parents they may be able to tell you what does it mean by having parents in life they will tell you what it means they will tell you what a blessing they are so let's appreciate our parents and if your parents have passed away if your parents are not there in the world they have left this world they are in their graves pray for them make dua for them visit their graves send isal sawab for them do this that's at least something we can do we and we should do let's try that if they are alive we serve them well and if they have passed away we pray for them and pray for them and keep praying for them inshallah ta'ala